Today we are at Disneyland in February for some special Valentine's Day snacks. We're gonna show you everything in both Disneyland and DCA, so let's get going. The first place we are gonna look for Valentine's seasonal snacks is right over here at Trolley Treats. So let's go inside. Once you get in here, if you have never been at Trolley Treats before over at Disney California Adventure, if you wanna get some seasonal snacks, you're gonna enter the line over this way. So they have the seasonal cake pop here, which is basically the same cake pop as their Disney 100 cake pops, but this one has a pink bow. And then they have the character cake pop as well. And we're gonna get one of those down here is a Be Mine heart-shaped Rice Krispie Treat. We're gonna get one of those too, let you know how it is. And over here, they have two different kinds of cupcakes. So they have these looking cupcakes, which are vanilla. And then over here, we have some chocolate and they've got some extra frosting on top with some Mickey ears. And then right up here, uh, we also have the dark chocolate marshmallow wand and we're gonna get this as well. What, <laughs> Benjamin really wants this? <laughs> okay, this is the character cake pop. Wait, that's not cake. It's not cake? It is, but not the ear. Oh, the ear's a marshmallow. Okay. That's interesting. Glad you found that out. <laughs> I'm not big into marshmallows. Now we got some cake. Once again, I'm not really a big fan of their cake pops. Yeah. All right, so I am not gonna eat the marshmallow. What's the flavor of the... Um, the chocolate? The chocolate. I don't know. I think it's white chocolate, but with like a hit of strawberry or I'm gonna something. Say, I think it's strawberry. I mm -hmm. think it is strawberry. Yep. <laughs> but it's like a fake strawberry. So. so we have a strawberry chocolate. The cake pop itself actually, I think is better than the other cake pop we had. Um, this one doesn't feel quite as dense and tasteless as the other one. Or maybe it's just the strawberry flavoring is adding an extra touch to this. Whereas the last time it was just chocolate on chocolate. And I think I actually like the strawberry flavoring it's making this one a little better to me. Uh, so this is the dark chocolate marshmallow wand. So Amy's gonna take a bite of this. So this whole thing's marshmallow as opposed to just the ear. Can you taste the difference? Yeah, because it's definitely dark chocolate. Is this one better? Yeah. For marshmallow? Yeah, I actually really like this one. So I really don't like marshmallow. It's okay, but here we go. making faces. <laughs> I know. The dark chocolate is good. I will say that. The dark chocolate is very good. The marshmallow on the other hand, I'm just not a big marshmallow person, but if you love marshmallows, you are going to love, love the marshmallow one. Especially if you like dark chocolate. I really like the dark chocolate flavoring. Now Amy's gonna try the, they call it a crisped rice treat, decorated crisped rice. They can't, say rice, they can't rice, rice crispy because that's a copyrighted thing. So it's crisped rice treat. Hard? Uh-huh. <laughs> it's a Rice Krispie Treat. And honestly, when we've made our own, they taste a whole lot better. Because they're warm and gooey and they're this is... They're warm and gooey and I put way more marshmallows in it. Uh oh. <laughs> so I'm going to contradict myself here. Um, I just said I don't like marshmallow, but I actually would prefer the Rice Krispie Treat if it had a little bit more marshmallow in it and were gooier. Um, Amy makes marshmallow or Rice Krispie treats at home and they are much, much better than this. Uh, so yeah, uh, you can skip the Rice Krispie treat or crisp Rice treat. <laughs> Next up, we are over at Disneyland now in Frontierland and this is the churro cart in Frontierland next to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad over that way. And we are gonna get the strawberry cookies and cream churro for the Valentine's Day snacks here at Disneyland. Also over here in Frontierland is the pretzel cart where we are going to get the special Valentine's Day strawberry cheesecake filled pretzel. Well, this strawberry cheesecake pretzel doesn't look a thing like that picture. This looks like pretty much just a regular cream cheese pretzel, which is basically what it is. You can see some, some pink over here off to the side. And then of course they gave us a strawberry dipping sauce, but um, the, the picture, made it look a lot more special than this. And here we have the strawberry cookies and cream churro. And um, I don't see the cookies and cream part. No, strawberry cookies and cream. Yeah, it, I mean, there's like a little bit up there. It just, it doesn't look like their cookies and cream churro that they normally have. So yeah, these ones are a little different uh, than I was expecting in appearance. Amy's gonna try the churro first. 
I don't know. Does it just taste like every other churro we've ever had? No, not at all. I prefer regular churros. Oh. It's like a churro with Nesquik strawberry powder on it is what it kind of tastes like. It almost reminds me of that, but it almost tastes like, you know, strawberry cereal on top or something. I don't know. It's hard to describe. I prefer... Just a good old plain churro. The, the cookies and cream one, the regular cookies and cream one's pretty good too. Oh, yeah, that one was pretty good. We've had and that we've over had at Cars Land. Like a pumpkin spice one at yeah. um, Halloween, that's pretty good. That is odd. <laughs> Told you. <laughs> the cream, the cream adds a different texture to the churro than you're used to experiencing, and I mean, like she said, kind of like almost like little cereal bits on top. It's really probably the best way to describe it. And if you love strawberry, this is probably going to be great for you because it's very strong strawberry flavor. Some of the specialty churros, they don't have a, a unique enough flavor. Like the Disney 100 Years Churro, I can't tell the difference. It's just like purple pixels or purple sugar. And otherwise, it tastes exactly the same. This distinctly tastes different. It tastes like strawberry. Um, so that may be something that you're interested in, especially if you love checking out the different flavored churros at Disneyland. Amy's gonna try that pretzel now, and we're gonna see what it is exactly. If it's strawberry flavored inside, or if you have to use the dipping sauce to get any strawberry flavoring. There's like a tiny bit on top, but nothing strong. So the inside is, is the regular cream cheese filled pretzel. Okay, so you have to add the dipping sauce then to get the real strawberry flavor. Then it tastes like strawberries. So is it better or Worse, not worse, bad turn of phrase, but uh, then the violet pretzel that we loved. The violet one's much better. The violet one? So yeah, the, the Disney 100 violet pretzel or refreshment corner? The violet pretzel one, I felt like a pretzel was a lot softer. Two, that thing was grizzled and icing. I love icing. I do yeah. not like strawberry pie filling or um, strawberry ice cream topping. And there's, topping. And there's that's no, no drizzle other than that. This is just strawberry, um, like if you order an ice cream sundae with strawberry that's what this is um so yeah the disney 100 cream cheese pretzel much much better that strawberry dipping sauce literally tastes just like schmucker's strawberry jam so if you like peanut butter and jelly and schmucker's strawberry jam that's exactly what it tastes like to me with a pretzel dipped in there i'm not sure how i feel about the cream cheese pretzel mixing with that flavoring i love strawberry jam it was just an odd coupling with the cream cheese pretzel I honestly was happy just to eat the cream cheese pretzel without the strawberry jam. But as we already mentioned, go get that violet pretzel for the Disney 100 celebration. That's much better. Over here at the Stage Door Cafe, they have a chocolate strawberry funnel cake, which is funnel cake with chocolate drizzle, brownie crumbles, diced strawberries, and whipped topping for $9.49. Over at the Golden Horseshoe in Frontierland, they have a strawberry sprinkle sundae for $8.49. We're not gonna get it, but this is what it looks like. To get our next Disneyland Valentine snack, we've come to the Red Rose Tavern. At Red Rose Tavern, we got two items. Here on the right, we have the, the Love Stuff. This is their Valentine's uh, special seasonal gray stuff, obviously. It's like it's got a red velvet cake there, which is a, a little bit different from what they would normally have. And then they've got uh, red and pink sprinkles on here. We'll see what it's like when we cut it in half and see what's inside. And then over here we have the strawberry tea. Now this one isn't on the actual Disney Parks Food Guide blog uh, post that they have, but it is on the mobile order. And this is something that's specific for the Valentine season through the end of February. Uh, so pretty standard actually on the inside, nothing specialty about it. Uh, red velvet cake, it's usually red velvet cake. And then they've got the uh, raspberry there on the top. So uh, the only thing that's different is the, the cookie on the bottom and the sprinkles. So Amy's gonna try her tea now. What do you think? I like it, but I also like tea. Um, but it definitely does have a little hint of strawberry to it. Um, my only complaint, in a sense, it's almost a little too sweet than what I like for tea. But if you like sweet tea, which I do, um, it's actually really good. This is very refreshing. Now, I do not like tea, but I made Amy try those two drinks from the Disney 100 food video. So I'm gonna try this one and see. It's actually not bad. I don't really drink tea, but I, I, I can handle this actually. Yeah, not bad. Actually, I think I like the strawberry. The, the, the very fact that Amy just said it's too sweet, 
actually kind of like that. Uh, as far as the actual great stuff goes, um, <laughs> my kids are tearing it apart right now <laughs> and getting it all over their hands. So I'm not gonna actually film it. Um, but it tasted just as good as it always does. Uh, no different than any other gray stuff. The seasonal gray stuffs are just aesthetic changes. That they're not taste changes or anything, but if you've never had a gray stuff, you absolutely must come to the Red Rose Tavern and get some gray stuff. We eat all the mountain. You ate the whole mountain? The gray stuff? <laughs> Good job, James and Benjamin. Next up, we're coming over to Clarabelle's Ice Cream for their new ice cream for Valentine's Day. Okay, well this here is called the Sweetheart Sunday, and uh, it is actually the only item of all the ones that we're showing you that will disappear on February 14th. It is a limited time from February 10th to the 14th, and it, it's gone after that. The rest of the items will be here through the end of February, um, but this one is just a limited time Valentine's offering. The Sweetheart Sunday with chocolate, strawberry, whipped cream, uh, uh, strawberry over here, and then sprinkles. That was pretty good. I feel like we've had better Sundays here. That's I'm trying very true. to think of what one was the one we liked. I think it was the Halloween one, was it, that we liked? Halloween one's pretty good because it's got um, like brownies in it. Yeah, and they also had a mint one once, and that was really good. So this one was just, it was so so. My chocolate covered strawberry that came with it. It was very frozen, like the strawberry was. So honestly, it tasted more like strawberry ice than a chocolate covered strawberry, but I mean. Benjamin really liked the waffle cone. He called it the cookie, because <laughs> it was crunchy like a cookie, but uh, he really liked the waffle cone. And the, the sauce that they had in it was kind of like strawberry filling if you will. It didn't quite taste like the the jam that we had with the pretzel. This tasted more like a filling as opposed to the jam. We popped over to the Grand Californian Hotel to go to the Craftsman Grill to see if they have any specialty foods. It looks like they have this specialty um, mini cupcake here. It's a little bit different than the cupcake from Trolley Treats. They also have a donut which has some roses on the ears. So that's interesting. If you've never been in here though, this is like the most amazing thing from the Craftsman Grill. I mean, just look at this. <laughs> Doesn't that look amazing? And over here at the Holiday Cart inside the Grand Californian, they have a variety of other treats available. Look at that. Yes. Here's another crisp rice type treat. While we're in here, I'll show you this too. This is from the 100 Years of Disney, not related to Valentine's Day, but it looked really cool. This is made out of like lots and lots of stuff. 350 pounds of rice cereal, 150 pounds of marshmallows, 175 pounds of powdered sugar, 300 eggs. Oh, 300 eggs and a lot more. Wow. And if you have never been in here before, both of those items are in the lobby of the Grand Californian Hotel. Well, that's it for all of our Valentine snacks at Disneyland and Disney California Adventure. Go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button for more Disneyland content. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again next time.